Welcome, this is the 2-2 two -two reading <clears throat> for you Tauruses, oh my god. Whew. Now, if you're in the fourth dimension, the energies that is coming at you is just brutal, okay? So be aware of that, oh my gosh. It is just unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Tauruses, let's get into this. All right, Tauruses, we're doing a mystical reading. So we're going to be looking at what is going to affect you in 222. So let me get my glasses on and we can go forward, okay? So Tauruses, what is affecting the Tauruses? The energy of the Palladians are going to be coming in and going to be affecting you. What is transpiring is that your heart chakra is going to be healed. You're going to be healing whatever issues that you have been having with love and the palladians are here and they're going to be helping you now it's a double mission that is coming in for you tauruses it's about challenging and uplifting humanity so for the tauruses who are on their life part it's about challenging and uplifting humanity okay what is uh, um what is the problem that is uh, affecting you is that uh, sharing your voice coming out of the cave okay uh pursuing and expressing yourself that is what is affecting you and you're going to be realizing this in the month of april uh, may and june so be aware of these energies that is coming up you tauruses because these are the challenging energy and it's going to be coming up in the month of april may and june so you have to share your voice, Tauruses. Whatever is happening, you have to share your voice. All right. The Counselor of Light is here for you, Tauruses. Divine Orchestration Helpers is going to be coming in to help you in whatever issue and whatever situation. You have the Council of Light that is watching over you, Tauruses. So you, Tauruses, are being um, protected and guided by the Council of Light. They're watching over you in this year so that you can make the right decision and as of 0202 you will be feeling this protection of the angels of light watching over you because it's as if they're standing over you protecting you in whatever that is transpiring what you need to let go is the shadow side of yourself it is the energy of the ego so you need to let go the shadow side of yourself you need to let go of the ego Whatever that has been happening and transpiring, you need to let go of the ego, the shadow side of who you are. The help that you're going to be receiving is that you're going to be help uh, receiving help, longing. Some of you are going to be longing um, to connect with the right place, your home. You're longing to belong to a group, an organization longing for the original light within you okay and this is going to be good because you're going to be receiving help um to balance out these situations that is affecting you in your life okay what is going to be coming up in the month of july august and september is that you're going to be breaking the change whatever is at transpiring you're going to be breaking the chain okay so if you had issues in your family your bloodline you're going to be breaking the chains as you go to july august and september october november and december i see boundaries you're going to be creating boundaries around you where do you need to establish your boundaries so the month of october november december you're going to be creating boundaries around you where you need to establish your boundaries and this is um really going to be good so whatever the issue, the situation is that is transpiring, um, it's going to affect most of you men. These energies are coming up. And when the Council of Light is protecting you, that means it doesn't really matter what is coming through. They can't affect you Tauruses, okay? So um, the Council of Light is going to affect you. Some of you Tauruses, you're going to be breaking the chain with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person, or whoever this person, however this person is coming up, this person could have been, um, 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 you know, be the enduring forces in your life, and you're going to be breaking out, and you're going to be leaving this person behind in the month of April, May, or June. However, this person is coming up for you, and whatever, um, however, this person 
um, connects to you you're going to be breaking that chain is it your child is it your someone in your life is it a someone who you work with whoever created a chain um, that was blocking you you have uh, um, ended this so now in the month of uh, July August and September I see you breaking this chain and you're going to be having a new start so this is good and this is fantastic because some of you were bounded by a young person that was a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and I see you breaking this chain with this person and you're going to be having a new start for yourself so this is really positive and really good because whatever this family issue was whatever this bloodline issue was with this person they have created some um, blockages in your life and you Tauruses are going to be moving these blockages out of your life hmm well 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 didn't I say this money is gonna be good you Tauruses is going to be uh, creating boundaries boundaries in your life boundaries with other people boundaries that is going to um, let other people know how far to go with you and this is going to be good because you're standing in your own power and you show up in your reading <clears throat> so um, Taurus is this is going to be a good positive alignment of energy as you go to the month of October November and December because you're ending blockages and boundaries that was created in whatever way so I see that some of you are going to be releasing um, someone that has created some burdens for you. You're definitely going to be um, um, releasing that. You're going to be taking back your power, taking back your life and letting people know how far to go and how not far to go. And this is going to be good because it's all about healing yourself, but also creating boundaries that people know how to get over these boundaries when to move forward and how you move forward with people so whatever this issue and this situation is i see you um um taurus is releasing the ego side of you and you're going to be um moving forward in a positive direction and moving up you are going to be making sure that people know um who you are and how far to go with you so Taurus is it's all about the resourcefulness of yourself maintaining balance it's all about the practicalities that is going to be coming up and it's all about resolving from the production productivity from yourself your beliefs the cost of your beliefs and using the most direct way to make changes in your life okay Taurus is you're working on the third house the third house is about uh, um, people around you okay so you're working on the third house in elin in this year and you're working with the north node so it's about finding your true north you pisces in this year in this elin energy of 020 it's about finding your true north okay so let's look at this um tauruses and um, so i see your belief you're going to be believing by making the right connection and having faith in doing that okay so that is going to be good for you Tauruses costs of uh, the idea in question do not worry about whatever is transpired around you just understand who you are using the most direct ways to get your idea going now is the time to do that so there is a lot that is going on with you Tauruses because I see that you are going to be communication because this is the third house it's about your environment people around you who you are and how you show up in the world and this is going to be very wonderful and very positive because when you're working with the third house you're working with people and situations around you that is going to be removing and creating positive positive alignment of energies Whatever you question in this timeline, Taurus, is you are going to be able to make the right decision about whatever question that comes up. Okay? Resourceful as in maintaining your ideas is going to be very good because there will be um, positive alignment of energies. Being practicality, short term thinking, the tips, success from doing whatever you're doing in your life and the benefits that is going to be coming in is going to affect you guys in a very very positive way okay all right so we have uh, of, um the overseeing and it's about grounding shielding 
um, grounding and shielding yourself and avoiding negative energies okay so you Tauruses are going to be learning about grounding shielding yourself and removing yourself away from negative energies so you need to get one of the stone it's going to help you to ground and bring in positive energy it's about shielding yourself from negative energies also then we have completed um, contemplating time you Tauruses are going to be having time to contemplate spending time alone meditating upon your true desire so I see a lot of you Tauruses are going to be spending time alone to contemplate what direction to go in and spending time alone and this is going to be good because as we spend time alone that is how we contemplate with the universe so that our angels and guides can give us what it is that we need to have so for some of you someone who has passed away is sending someone out their message and it said it was my time to go okay it was my time to go so whatever that was transpiring this was a message to someone out there who is still mourning the loss of a loved one they are saying to you it was time um, for them to go so you need to let go and understand that they was only here for a short time just like you are only here for a short time and they had to move on okay um, Taurus is the um, extended reading are here for you guys so if you are interested in having the extended reading you can use the link or join the channel because in order to get an extended reading you have to join the channel Taurus is what is transpiring is about you understanding um, what it is to heal yourself but also heal the, the, the things around you and as we look and we see working with the Third house is about the people around you, your environment, your home, um, where you live, the place that you live, the people at your work, you know, that sort of an energy that is going to be coming up and it's going to be helping you to understand certain aspects and certain things. But the most important thing for this healing, it's about the council of light that is over you, watching you and moving you into that um, good direction helping you to let go of the egos breaking the chain that no longer serves you and this is the most positive and alignment of energies and if you understand where you are and how you look at your environment and how people in your environment look at you you're going to be aligned and you're going to be ready to make the new changes okay some of you whoever this person is that was holding you back and was blocking you from moving forward um, you're going to be releasing this person whether it says someone who is a family member a personal friend or that sort of a thing you're going to be um, moving that a new start is going to be coming up in your financial stability so this is going to be good because they are sort of moving away someone out of your life that was blocking you in order for you to grow in um, a spiritual manner but also receiving positive uh, energies coming up for you and it's going to be in a positive alignment of energies so um taurus is the extended reading or here for you guys if you'd like to check out the extended reading remember that this is an healing reading and if you would like to have a healing for yourself you can also connect with me via my website um for an healing reading it is there um, we go deep and we remove things blockages that is affecting us and remember the message from whoever out there who is mourning their loved one they are saying it was time for them to go I love you Tauruses I will speak to you and next time namaste